my dear friends welcome to my youtube channel that is learning and programming with chetan so friends i hope that you all are enjoying in learning and programming with me so friends without wasting much of our time let us start our today's video and let us try to understand about this important concept that why concurrent collections is needed in java so guys if you have idea that what is this concurrent collections then i would recommend you to share your views in comment section so that other can also take the advantage of it okay so guys without wasting much of our time let us start our today's discussion and let us try to understand that why we need these concurrent collections in java and we will also see it graphically and we will also try to understand this concept by the help of program okay so guys do you know about this concept of thread safety do you do you know any classes in collection framework which is thread safe do you then you might say then yes there are certain classes in collection framework for example we have hash table right along with hash table we have vector then yes these are thread safe classes all the methods present inside those classes are synchronized they can be used in multi threaded environment yes they are then why we need this concurrent collections if we already have this hash table in vector then my dear friends these are legacy classes with certain disadvantages which we will soon understand by the help of graphics that what are the disadvantage of using this hash table what are the limitations of it okay so to have this thread safety and to work in a multi threaded environment we need concurrent collections okay great then you might say that okay we can understand that these two classes hash table and vector is legacy classes fine then we also have collections utility class and inside collection utility class we can use synchronized yes you can use synchronized set or you can use synchronized map or you can also get synchronized list from it right yes of course you can use it then if it is already there if synchronized list or set is there then why we have created this concurrent collections then guys yes i agree with you that we have this utility class and we can use this synchronized map or set but then there are certain limitations and disadvantages associated with it and that is in term of performance we can use this synchronized map in a multi threaded environment but at a time only one thread is allowed to acquire a lock on this collection object okay why it is happening because it is taking lock on a complete object of collection that is why at a time only one thread is allowed to operate on collection object but in case of concurrent collection it is not acquiring a lock on a complete object but it is acquiring a lock on a segment level and not on a object level okay we will soon understand this concept that what is segment locking and what is object locking okay how it is internally working what is the various advantages of it okay so stay tuned with me and i promise you that you will be able to understand all of these concepts okay now let us discuss about the third and the most important point that why we need this concurrent collections in java so i hope that you must have heard about this concept of concurrent modifications right you must have heard about this concept of concurrent modifications do you if yes then again you can write in comments you can let me know about your views on concurrent modification and what is concurrent modification exception okay 
So let us try to understand this concept of concurrent modification and we will see that how this concurrent collection is working absolutely fine and it is not throwing any concurrent modification exception when we are trying to update the structure. So let's try to understand this concept of concurrent modification by the help of example. Okay. So let me take you to our program which I have already created for you. Okay. So this is my class with the name concurrency app and inside my class I have created one main method okay so this is our main method and inside our main method i have created one hash map object okay so this is my hash map object great now inside my hash map object i am inserting three different elements okay so this is my key which is an employee number and this is the name of our employee okay that is chetan rahul and priya great so we have inserted these items inside our hash map okay now i am taking the iterator of our hash map okay so this is the key set from the key set we are getting the iterator of key okay now what i want i want to print the employee id okay whichever employees are present inside my employee object okay so i am iterating it okay so this is my iterator and then i am taking the employee id and i am simply printing it okay but here if you see that here I have added one condition that if my employee ID is equal to this 101 then insert one more employee with the name Mayank inside this employee object okay so what we are actually trying to do here we are changing the structure of our hash map object while iterating right so what will actually going to happen if i will run this program any idea let's see that so when we will run it we will get concurrent modification exception and why it is happening because while using the iterator we are iterating it and at the same time or concurrently what we are doing we are also changing the structure of our hash map right that is why we are getting this concurrent modification exception so this is the concept which i was talking about that is concurrent modification now how we can solve this particular problem we can solve this by using concurrent hash map okay so let us use concurrent hash map here so this is my concurrent hash map and rest of the program will remain same now let us run our program and let's see that whether we are able to solve the problem of concurrent modification exception or not then yes here on your screen you can see that we are getting the employee ids of all the employees which is present inside our concurrent hash map collection object right and we are also not getting the concurrent modification exception so we have solved this problem of concurrent modification exception by using this concept of concurrent hash map okay so here we can conclude that the iterator which we are using for our concurrent hash map is fail safe right it is fail safe whereas if we talk about hash map then the iterator which we are using in hash map is is fail fast right it is failing and it is giving us concurrent modification exception so guys i hope that you are able to understand that what is the need of concurrent collections in java so friends you can stay tuned with me and in our next video we will try to understand about very important concepts okay related to hash map hash table synchronized map concurrent hash map copy on write array list okay so stay tuned with me and if you have not subscribed the channel till now then you can quickly hit that like and subscribe button okay so that you don't miss any updates of my upcoming tutorials and guys i would like to wish you all the very best for your learnings and we'll soon meet in our next video